team like FaZe Clan, who, yes, have been on top for, you know, most of the season, you started to see kind of uncharacteristic losses, and how does he tuck this in? You had FaZe Clan right there. Uh-oh. But we talk about these weaknesses being exposed at Worlds and Game... This is a good chance for it. There's the demo, and into the right-hand side, Limitless. Get the job done for two straight now. Miss trying his best to contain this, but how can you, Snowy? Actually, I wonder if Mist accidentally backflipped. He, I, th I think in yeah, any I other that. in any other universe, I think Mist forward dodges there and gets a touch. Maybe a mechanical miss input actually uh, letting that ball in. Giving him a lot of credit. As uh, you wish he had a few more defensive members of the side of face. I feel like Clevelis are getting away with oh. the murder. And Chrome has had a couple of shooting opportunities, but also he himself has not had super high quality looks. They've been defended, required perfect placement. And so maybe maybe the lambda duck aspect's gonna work out for their favor. There's four for Limitless to die for. Capitalizes on another soft touch. With how Limitless haven't won a game yet, barely uh, only won one match and fell apart at Worlds. Limitless know how much this means to them. And against a FaZe Clan, who are they boomed? Well, not when Chrome's Ooh. on the field. He keeps them alive. Like Gamers 8 is known to be any team can show up. And it's Limitless who certainly have in game one with the- He might just opt for that Jorius uh, approach and say, look, I'm just gonna defend the net and I'm gonna make you hit some tough shots to beat me. And first killer will do just that. Yeah, Snowy slipped up. I think he ran out of boost too oh, and just barely could get, couldn't achieve this into the corner. And then it went right back to first killer. and. The one thing you can criticize about game one was there was a lot of support, like I said, from both sides. It was just how well coordinated it was, how you were communicating, but there is no ruling 1v1. Now first killer with that demo, it's the third one on the board. Nice job from first killer, stopped in his own corner and said, I want some boost, free demo, and even gave a, a little bit of cheek here by uh, just stopping and saying, oh, you spawned behind me, okay. <laughs> this is gonna just shove you into the net. Remember, I'm still here. See how this next kickoff goes, though, because first killer has been more lucky so far. Even the recovery off of that one and the forces this and ball I. into the green half. Yeah. Under to zero. Ooh, he should score that. Don't, okay. Snowy <laughs> running towards the nets and Snowy whips it and four to one now for first killer. I, I gotta say, the fact that that whole sequence even played out for like as long as it did. Snowy had to play a lot of tough defense with limited boost, he even managed to squeak by. And if he even had 12, he might've scored against first killer there. But you can see why the boost grabs are so important in the 1v1. Snowy's not even gonna play that. Oh, he's gonna turn right here. That's crazy. You are insane, my guy. Oh God, first killer. How does it look for FaZe heading back into the 3v3? Because, yeah, this one should likely be washed. Uh, I, I know I was giving Snowy a little bit of flack for challenging with 12 boost, but he was trying to be a pirate, just trying to steal, <laughs> steal a goal out of a bad spot and try and get himself back into it. You, you can't really fault the approach there to players like that when they find themselves in high mechanically demanding situations, like air dribbles off the sidewall or, you know, double flip resets into the top corner. A lot more teams believe a lot more people. So even if first killer is looking good, and that's kind of exactly what they did in game one, they just went, geez, first killer's just, <laughs> he's just beating them into the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna let you talk through that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just another 50 a raw win for first. Killer. With how much possession first killer has had, Snowy has had a good amount of denials and has tried to have these res have these responses. He's threatened to flip resets where first killer has stopped everything. Two of of first killer's goals have come up come up from kickoff wins, and Snowy had one. Catch Limitless off guard, and there's no. a shot towards the face net. What an unrelated for Limitless. Where did first killer go? There's Mist. Oh, first killer thought Mist was gonna delay and get that challenge off the sidewall. Don't connect, Mist off the back wall. Touch is not able to set up, but at least keeping that position to the corner. Oh, in. And how? Face Clan cut the angle. Chrome, just able to squeeze this one from the sidewall. 
Not even sure he's really trying to shoot it. He's kind of just with a chance. One on two, and he will find a gap in the left side. Chrome just lurking too. I wasn't sure how this play was going to go because Darth was heading back. And maybe oh, FaZe yeah. Google and thought they were safe too. Snowy steps up. Great placement. And I thought that... Almost got back to it, but always a tough one. And Limitless now on the cusp of winning their second straight 3v3 game. And Snowy's going to jam in an insurance goal. <laughs> oh, God. If you would have told me that Limitless would win the threes games against FaZe Clan, I would have said, you got to put me in a rubber room. And First you know, killer starts the drive. I've I've liked the approach from FaZe here too. I felt like it gives them a, a good couple of chances. There's a bump. Chrome's not gonna miss that one. FaZe right back into it. Only down one. 40 seconds to work. Can you make it happen? Again, all three FaZe clan members just full sending it. It worries me. But again, whatever it takes to win, whatever it takes to score, 39 seconds with Limitless, the smallest lead. Everyone Ooh, they got it. off the kickoff. Limitless does it. Chrome got aggressive here, thinking first killer could maybe get the ball to him off the subsequent challenge. But it will oh, nice be shot. the most difficult <laughs> chance as this will go. Uh, for phase, I guess, for the third goal. I don't know if it really matters. But. You know, the worst part now, you're thinking, man, maybe if Chrome had nailed that open net, we're an OT, right? <laughs> that's, the, that's the brutal on how they like to take the ball off of attackers. But look at this flip reset from first killer. He never gave Limitless an opportunity to even take this ball off him. He got, got on the outside of the ball, caught it with the flip reset, and then extended the range no matter if you have a flip reset, how good you look mechanically against a guy like that, he hasn't let, he's barely let anything slip by. Yikes. And that's two on the board now for Vic. Yes, the unfortunate reality of playing a 2v2 like this, you can't miss the ball. How do you take advantage of FaZe? Yeah, like playing boom ball, but what can Limitless do of their own? They've just been surviving, but you need to do more than that. Whoa, 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 oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Mist sends it right back. Limitless not quick enough, and Mist will put him six feet under, giving FaZe Clan game four and sending themselves to game five where we revisit the threes horde. The eight that have been unable to win thus far. Crazy. There is a world. And just turn into this avalanche. It's FaZe typing their net. First killer sneaks it through. And Limitless couldn't defend that time. Nice job from Chrome picking his moment. You can see everyone a little discombobulated there on the Limitless side. They couldn't tell who was going to hit the ball. Mist came at it. First killer jumped and backflipped at it, landed and got a little bump. And Chrome. For his front line, that's what FaZe Clan need to do and are doing better of in this game five when it matters the most. But snowing the shot, Mist. Saved at the goal line and Chrome with the clear, the counter we might attack. Hit it. Too far away from the ball to maybe make that pass generate something as Space Clan respond even harder. I think to die for and Darth ran into each other just a little bit there on that transition. I can't be sure. Or against the wall. The series would have started this way. It would have been a lot quicker. Oh. As Space now with a commanding lead. See, and this is the pressure the first killer puts on you. Now, we know from his camera, he can't actually score this. This gets own goal. That shot is wide. And you, you might have <laughs> thought that this was going to be the case in the first place. But I'm sure there's a lot of doubt that's been created for FaZe after a team like Limitless makes them sweat this hard. So